been a long night for more than 100,000 people in coastal British Columbia. They're still without power, and this is more than 24 hours after a windstorm tore through their region. The report from the CBC's Deborah Goble. While hydro crews work through the night to restore power, the Bresnik family is still stunned by what the storm did to their house. And then he's like, no, no, the tree's falling down. It's really falling. And then it just, boom, fell down in a huge, loud noise. A 100-year-old Douglas fir had landed on top of Susanna Bresnik's bedroom. And then all of a sudden I hear my brother go, Savannah, move! And I think, oh my God, this is it. And I turn around and, you know, when you're little, they teach you how to, like, cover your head. Their insurance adjuster has already taken a look and says there's at least $30,000 in damage here. I just heard a crash on the roof. I was like, oh boy. And 30 trees came down in one neighborhood alone in Penticton. They crashed through homes, roads, and power lines all over the lower mainland. BC Hydro says it could be as long as Wednesday before it has things completely back to normal. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Surrey.